In this video, I will show you a very simple and easy tool that will help you calculate your PIPs without stress. So if you're still struggling with how to calculate your PIPs for your stop loss or your take profit or how to measure the number of PIPs within a range, then this video is a must watch for you. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I want you to hit that subscribe button and make sure you turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out when I produce any of my videos. So without further ado, let's go right into the video. So the tool that we're going to be using is called Arrowed Line Tool and you can find the Arrowed Line Tool under these shapes or elements or you tap anywhere on the chart and when this wheel appears, you still see the same shape and elements here, so which you can also tap on. So when we click on it, it will show you most recent objects you've been using here at the top menu. So if it is not here at your top menu, then just click on this plus sign. See under lines, you will see the arrowed line. So you click on the arrowed line. So the first thing you need to know is where you want to measure the price you want to measure so let's assume that i want to sell at this current price and i want to put my stop loss above this high and i want to take my profits maybe down here so i want to measure the number of pips to my stop loss and the number of pips to my take profit what do i do if i place the arrow here to check my stop loss if i take it up to this point as you're holding the, the arrow, look at the top left hand side of the chart, just under the USD JPY. So we're looking at the second digit after the slash. So you have zero slash. That digit after the slash is measuring the pips. Okay. So let's say I want to put my stop loss just above this high and I leave it at this point. It's showing 397. Now that last digit is a pipette which is one tenth of a pip so the actual number of pips here is 39 pips 7 pipettes which is 39.7 pips okay because a pipette is one tenth of a pip so that 7 is 7 over 10 okay so that is 0 0.7 pip so if i'm taking my take profit to this point so i have 111 Point four pips. Now, if I want to take my take profit at this point, it is 70.4 pips. So if I want to take my profit down here, it is 150.2 pips. If I want to take my profit at this point, it is 209.7 pips. So that is how you measure your pip as you move it, the, the value changes. Okay.